Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use missing letter. If you're wondering why missing letter, this is one of those power tools I've been telling you all about that change the game for me. If you do a lot of blogging, if you write a lot of content, missing letter will repurpose it and turn it into a lot of different social media posts that drive back to your content. This is awesome for search engine optimization. It's one thing to repurpose your content into like videos and stuff, which is great. We do wanna do that as well, but what missing letter does is it takes the content through an RSS feed, it brings it in, you just hit up some simple steps, which I'm gonna show you, and then it's going to distribute it out on your social networks and it's gonna look fresh and new every time and drive more traffic. So let's jump into missing letter and let me show you how it works. All right, this is missing letter and we are on the campaigns tab here. And I've actually been saving quite a bit of my drafts so that you can see how I set it up. So these are all active campaigns that are going out right now. So we're gonna to go to drafts and drafts are pulling from my RSS feed. I'll show you how to set up your RSS feed here in just a moment. And so we're gonna go down this one right here, generating ideas for engaging, useful, and shareable content. We're going to go to setup campaign and you are first going to select what type of blast do you want to do here? There is the 12 month evergreen. This is great for that evergreen content that you just want it dripping out all the time. You have your six month evergreen. That's stuff that is slightly evergreen, but does expire within the next year. And then you have a two month blast and you have a two week light, which is just a light spring clean over two weeks and then a two week blast, which is really aggressive promotion of this blog. We're gonna go with the 12 month evergreen, which is most of my blog post. Then the next thing you're gonna do is decide when is the first blog post gonna be published. Now, if you're sitting there and you're doing several of these scheduling in a row, you're not gonna want them all to be published on the same day or at the same time. So you might wanna check something different. I have nothing else I'm scheduling today other than to show you this. So the 25th, which is the date that I'm recording this is just fine. Next, we're gonna to go to hashtags. Now, Missing Letter automatically puts hashtags together for you. A lot of times I will get rid of those hashtags and I will add my own, all right? So I just added three, there we go. I have three here. One of them's ranking really well, which is great. The next thing is select media. Now it's gonna pull in the media that is in your blog post. Sometimes it doesn't pull it all in for some reason, but usually it does. However, what I like to do, you definitely want more than one image here, especially for a 12 month evergreen. So I'm gonna to go to add media. You can either upload new images, you could use Unsplash, which are a really great Creative Commons website, which is where we're gonna go today, or you can go to Giphy. So I'll show you both the Unsplash and the Giphy. So we're gonna go to Unsplash, and we're just gonna look up content marketing in this case and add media. Yes, I confirm that I am the owner of the blog post and it's gonna bring those all in, which is great. Let's go ahead and add a Giphy as well. I have my own custom GIFs that I like to use for these. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna add those two GIFs. I don't always add GIFs, but if it works. All right, and then we're gonna go to select quotes. Now it's going to pull in a majority of the quotes from your blog post. So you're gonna just scan these and make sure that they work. Now it does for me, it brings in a lot of my bio or my lower section where I talk about myself because this is from, this particular one is from Medium. So I will need to go through and delete those, but let's just go and scan really quick. That one's fine, good, that's fine. This one is from my bio, this one is from my bio as well. All right, now we know that we're going to need, we're gonna go ahead and add this one too. We're gonna need more. I know that I'm gonna need more quotes because right here is a little red check mark. It's saying you need to add more quotes. So I can either search for quotes in my campaign or I can add quotes. So what I usually like to do is go straight over to the blog post and I like to find the quotes that work the best for me. Let's do this one add a quote, you're just gonna paste it in there and click add. And you're gonna do this until you get a green check mark. All right, so we've got a green check mark and we're gonna now go down here where we're sending it to. Now I have already previously connected these accounts, but I have them connected to my Twitter, both my personal and my business LinkedIn, my Google, uh, my business page, my Facebook business page, and then an additional Facebook business page that I run. So we're going to build the campaign. And now the AI that Missing Letter uses is generating some different campaigns. So your job, because we have a 12, month campaign is to go through and just make sure that you like what it's gonna put out. So this is a sample of what is going out for this post and it looks fine to me. So we'll go to the next one and that looks fine. So this one is on day seven, but we already shared this photo and yes, we're gonna share multiple 
of the same photo, but we don't want to do it so close together. So if I want to change this, I'll click on these little dots up here and I can go to the, this is the quotes. This would be this section. I could change that and I could go to the photos and I can change that right here. So I'll just scan through and we can go to this one or I could change it to a bubble quote or I could say, I don't want any at all. I like that one with the GIF, so cool. And we're gonna keep going. So that looks good, that looks good. See again, we wanna change that one. That looks good. All right, so this back to day zero. Everything looks great. Now you can customize these for your different profiles as well. So once we're ready to go, we're just gonna click on launch campaign. It's gonna say, please confirm that this blog post is yours. It was written by you or someone on your team. And I'm gonna say yes and confirm. And now it's generating and launching my campaign. So I have nine approved social media posts that are going out across all these social networks. And I can also download all the media out assets and I can schedule them in other places or use them later or repurpose them, whatever you wanna do. Now that's how you schedule the post through Missing Letter and it repurposes it. So let me show you how to add your RSS feed and your social media posts and just give you a tour of Missing Letter. From the top, I have different workspaces. So I have my main seller media marketing and I have client X. This is just a testing ground, but I can add workspaces depending on the package that you buy with Missing Letter. This is your campaigns. This is where we went initially and we can see our active campaigns, all the drafts and anything that's completed. And then we can curate as something that's an additional product that they released last year. And it actually has content. You can actually submit your content to curate, but it's basically a whole bunch of different people's content and you curate it to your own profile. So I can go to these different places. Now it is in beta and I'm not sure it comes with every account. I do not use it. So just so you know, but you can go to promote and you can promote your own post. I have done that in the past. So no hurting, trying it out. Then we have our schedule. This is going to show you what's going out on what days and I can easily visualize how my posts are doing. You can see I have a lot of content going out and this is on top of the content that I create and any videos and anything like that. This is just my curated content from my own blog post. Over here we have our analytics so we can analyze how this particular content is doing. I personally don't use Missing Letters Analytics for my main analytics. I use Agora Pulse for that, but I do like to see how things are doing because then I know what is going to work best in the future. Now you see most of my clicks come from Twitter, which is very unsurprising to me. And then it'll tell me more about the best times to post and your typical analytics. Now under settings is where we're going to add certain profiles and that sort of thing. So here we have our profiles. So I'm connected to Medium. And what this means is I'm bringing in my blog posts from other sources, like my other business blog, and I wanna republish them on Medium. So these are my posting times. You have full control over certain days of the month or of the week that you want or don't want to have things posted. Actually, I need to change this here because I am no longer in LA time zone. I'm in Chicago's time zone. Are there certain days that you do not want them? Do you want to customize it per profile? I don't have them customized per profile, but you certainly can. You could do certain time slots. I have time slots set up for different profiles. And then we have our branding. The branding is this stuff, these little quote things here, and you can fully customize these to your brand. Just go in here, you can customize your little picture, you can customize the colors, just going through the side here. So there's a lot of different styles that you can go with. Then we have our quotes, what do we want those to look like? The author, what do we want that to look like? And any of your branding things that you could do. Next, we are going to go to custom fonts. You can upload your own custom fonts down in curate. Again, the curate is not something that I do very often, so I can keep that off. Then we have our drip campaigns. So we'll go into general and we can control different hashtags, different media types, different social media profiles. If we have default, like a branded hashtag, we can add that here. And then content sources is where are these RSS feeds coming from? If I go into any of these, I can also change the source. I can remove the source. So if I want to remove this one, I can do that. All right. And if we want to add sources, we just go up to this blue button here, add your RSS feed for here. You can use a YouTube channel. You can also do Wistia, which is another hosting place, but I usually just go with RSS feed. So there are other options in here. I just don't fully use them. And then we can also do your URL shortener of choice. 
And then down here, finally, we have our black list phrases. These are things that we do not want to come in. So right now I have Club Stellar blocked because that is an old account that I don't want out there anymore. So it's not gonna pull in anything like that. And I can also delete the workspace, but we don't want to do that. Now, Missing Letter is very affordable. They actually have a free version that you can try out, of course, with limitations, but it's a great place to try it out. Or you can upgrade to the Pro, which is their most popular package for about $19 a month. I have some special offers for you as an affiliate of Missing Letter. You can grab those special offers in the description, wherever you may find that. Now, this is absolutely part of my content strategy. I use this all the time. I always have content going out. It's one of the reasons I love it. I never have to worry. There's always content. So even when I'm being lazy with my content, when I, my new content creation, I always know this is going out. So I am solid. So once you get a couple of these built up, missing letter becomes one of those assets you just can't live without. So I hope you found this helpful and go check out missing letter today.